Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. It's Taco Fiesta Week over on my blog. Um, this is my stamp set I got to design for my Million Dollar Sales Achiever um, benefit, if you will. It was so fun. I wanted my stamp set to be fun, kind of like a party. I wanted it to be silly, and I wanted to be able to use my stamp and blends. So Taco Fiesta is what I came up with. We're gonna make a little box. And this box was inspired by this bigger box that I made at my presentation at On Stage. I found these crazy gummy tacos at Five Below and I thought it was hilarious. Um, so I made a big box for it. Not sure how much you would use a giant gummy taco, but I definitely have a box for you. This will be on my blog next week. But I found the smaller gummy tacos. Look, here they are, smaller. You can, um, they're cheaper. You can buy more of them and give them out. So I thought these were really funny uh, gifts. And of course, I had to make a box for them. Um, the, the, the boxes, I made two different kinds, two different colors because I couldn't decide which color I liked better. The paper is from Dandy Designs, uh, which is a celebration paper right now during January and February 2023. All right, well, let's get started. We're going to make the box first because we're going to need to give it some time to dry. You're going to need a piece of either Granny Apple Green or Mango Melody if you want to make the other color. Um, nine by six and a fourth. And on the long side, we're gonna score it at one, four, five, and eight. Then on the short side, we're gonna score it at one and five and a fourth. There will be a free PDF for you on my blog with these measurements and um, supply list. So you can click the link here on YouTube to hop back over to my blog. It's free for you to download it, print it, save it, whatever you wanna do. There will also be two other Taco Fiesta projects featured on that blog post. All right, burnish the lines. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna snip all of the lines along the long side, okay? And then you wanna go back and trim off the corners. Whoops, I went a little bit far in on that one. All right, so trim off the corners. Your paper snips are good for this um, because they're small. The paper snips are also good for cutting out our Taco Fiesta projects and just, or characters, our Taco Fiesta characters, images, in just a little while. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this other long side. This is a clamshell box, which means one side folds over the other side. It closes kind of like a clamshell. And I'm gonna use Tombow glue. You can use tear and tape, stamp and seal plus, I just find here in South Texas where I live, it's humid and muggy and Tombow seems to do the trick. All right, I'm gonna start with these two corners right here. And I have a bowl full of clothespins, many clothespins, because I like to clip these and let them dry. You wanna make sure that your edges are flush, okay? That's what you're trying to match up. Because we've cut the corners off, the paper might go down a little bit. So you wanna look at it and make sure you are lining those up. All right, now we're gonna, these, those two folded into that side and these two are gonna fold into this side right here. like that all right and now we're gonna let that sit i don't know what that is we're gonna let that sit and dry while we do while we stamp our taco and our peppers and all of our things now i'm using memento black ink because we're using stamp and blend that's the ink you want to use when you are using stamp and blends it's a water-based ink and it will it won't smear with your markers all right, so we've got the taco 
and we've got our avocado and we've got a little sombrero and then we'll do our little pepper now the stamp set has faces for you to add to your characters i'm going to do that after i color all right i have to pull my chair over because i can't color and stand at the same time all right let's start with our taco we're going to use so saffron light and i'm just going to add a full coating of so saffron all the way around then i'm gonna leave it open because i'm gonna use it again i'm gonna take my dark so saffron and add some color kind of in a u shape upside down rainbow and then i'm going to take my light so saffron and blend that all the way up now while i've got this marker out i'm going to come over here and color my sombrero top all right let's get our granny apple green light and i'm gonna color in the lettuce now if you are having trouble getting in these little little spaces because these are quite small take your marker tip and just tap that color in just kind of tap 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 right here especially this is a really small area and so just tap tap either the brush tip or the bullet tip will work um, if your especially if your marker is new i find that the brush tip works really well when they're new because they're still stiff all right, while we have our light out, we'll do our avocado. I'm gonna color the inside, uh, the light color. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to my dark. And here, to go on the outline of the avocado, I do find that the bullet tip is better. I have better control, because this is a skinny line. And again, see how I'm just kind of tapping the color down as I go. I'm not leaving the marker down too long. Just tap, 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 tap. Okay. And then we'll color that pit in so um, soft suede like that. All right. Now for our sweet sorbet, we're going to color in those tomatoes. And then we're gonna come over here and add some sweet sorbet to our pepper. I got all the lines a little bit there, but we're gonna cut these out. So that'll be okay. All right, for my pepper, I'm gonna add a little bit of shading. I'm gonna take my dark and just kind of add some dark down there and then take my light and blend it over all right last but not least we've got to finish our little sombrero like that all right let's add the faces i always have to put the mustache face on the taco okay and then we can use Let's see, I'm just gonna grab, see what I grab. Oops, I need my ink, come back. We've got five choices. We'll put this one on our avocado. Winking guy, he's winking. And then let's see if I have, I like the surprised face. Let's do the surprised face right there. <laughs> All right, one other thing I'm gonna do is get my wink of Stella and add some shimmer to the little taco guy or the pepper guy all right now as i mentioned these do not have these do not have um dyes so you're going to need to use your little paper snips paper snips are the best for fussy cutting because they're small and easy to maneuver and they're very sharp so you want to stay right on the outside of your black line and go around slowly. And there you go. Now I've already cut all of them out, so you don't have to sit and watch me cut them out. 
All right, let's bring back our box and see if it's dry. It looks like it's dry. Um, these tacos, these little miniature gummy tacos actually came from Amazon. So I will have a link for you on today's blog post. All right, so see, it just closes over like that. All right, now for the, the top, I have a piece of the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper, and we're gonna mat it on a piece of basic white. Okay, and then we're going to add that to the top. Okay, I have a red or a sweet sorbet scalloped border. It's a little bit too long, so we're gonna trim that off. Just snip that right there. Now I have a strip, another strip of the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. Here's the mango color. All right, now I also have a couple of pieces of our glimmer paper. This is Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. So I'm just gonna kind of cut them at an angle and then we're just gonna kind of put them just, well, actually, you know what? We're gonna wait because we're gonna put those on the rectangle. Let's put the rectangle on here first and then we'll put those. All right, let's start with our taco. He's gonna go over on the left side of our um, stitched rectangle. And then we've got our cute little pepper and then our avocado. And I'm gonna put the sombrero on the avocado. I feel like the taco always gets the spotlight. So let's give our little, our little avocado the spotlight. Right there. Now we have to do our sentiment too. And we're gonna use um, black. I've got a black banner and I'm gonna emboss this with white. So let's get it nice and de static <laughs> if that's the word, to, so that the, the little crystals don't stick to the wrong spot. And then I'm gonna grab my You Spice Up My Life sentiment. And let's see if I can get this straight. I cut this out ahead of time so I wouldn't have to do it on the video. Normally I like to stamp and then die cut, but for the video, we'll do it this way. All right, grab your white embossing powder, grab your heat tool. All right, once you have that all done, now we can add in our glimmer paper just kind of putting them a little wonky, of overlapping. And we'll put that right in the middle. And then we'll put this guy on dimensionals. like that and then last but not least i have some parakeet party um a shimmer ribbon metallic ribbon i can't remember the name of course it'll be on my blog on the supply list and you're going to tie a double bow like that All right, mini glue dots. And we'll put that right there. And there you have your fun little box. These will be great party favors or fun pick-me-ups in the winter at school or at your office just to kind of brighten someone's day. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.